Okay, as I mentioned during the monologue, I am super excited about tonight's show because it is a rich talk show, uh, talk show tradition, late night talk show tradition, to have animals live in the studio, of course. We all know Joan Embry would join uh, Johnny Carson, uh, Jack Hanna would join David Letterman. So now I have uh, my very own cat behavior consultant, uh, Melissa Prude, who will join me here very shortly. But she also uh, is the uh, owner and operator of a cat cafe here in the Valley. It is uh, La Guitarra. Am I saying that right? La Guitarra Cat Cafe and Wine Bar. It's just opened in uh, Tempe, not far from the ASU campus. So again, if you're watching this and you're in the area, please consider visiting it because it's a wonderful place. And they have a lot of great events. I just went there last night for the first time for a, a speed dating night, a singles <laughs> night there, where uh, cat people, single cat people, that may sound redundant, but uh, they were there. <laughs> uh, and they rotated to meet one another and discuss their love of cats and perhaps find a, uh, a special connection. So check out this, uh, this video I shot while I was there at La Guitarra Cat Cafe and Wine Bar. Hey everybody, it's a beautiful night in the Phoenix area, and I'm in Tempe, Arizona, at the Valley's only Cat Cafe and Wine Bar, where tonight they're hosting a speed dating event for singles with cats, or as I like to call them, singles. I am in the La Guitarra gift shop with co-owner Kevin and uh, operator Emily. Hey guys. Hi. How are so, you doing? Thanks for uh, agreeing to host me here. here. Oh, we're glad to have you. Glad uh, to have you. So you said when I walked in, I, I got to take my shoes off? Yeah, you got to take yeah. your shoes off, sanitize all for the kittens, get a little scared otherwise. Okay, you guys are in a great location. Thank you. Here, I noticed when I pulled up, there's a beautiful Asian restaurant yeah. up front. So I have to ask, have you noticed, noticed if any of the cats have gone missing? Wow, so you are the co-owner, is that right? Yeah, and I, I'm allergic to cats. And you're allergic to cats. Why would you? That's like a vegetarian <laughs> opening a, uh, a meat buffet. What are you it's doing? all about my best friend, Melissa. Aww. She needed this, and now we're doing it, and here she did. It's all he's, he's getting swollen wounds for you. Hey, I'm yeah. allergic to cats, but I take medicine. This one doesn't. You're it's allergic to cats, too? Oh, my God. What are you guys doing? Find out about uh, La Guitarra Cafe. Um, I was looking for a cat cafe for like the longest time. You've been looking for a cat cafe. I didn't know it was Let's go to town, buddy. Now you're a filthy little animal, aren't you? Yeah, you're dirty, aren't you? Do you come here often, or um, you're supposed to think outside of the box? Outside of the box. You know, you're never going to get ahead in life with this attitude. Unbelievable. You think Garfield lays in a box all day? No. What do you think of Donald Trump firing the FBI director so hastily like that? And then putting up these weird tweets about how the guy should be grateful he hasn't recorded any of their private conversations as if he's going to blackmail them with stuff they've talked about essentially off the record. I mean, it's really kind of tasteless and unpresidential behavior, am I right? So I'm here with... I'm Kate Benjamin with House Panther. I also do guest appearances on My Cat from Hell and Jack's the Galaxy. And we've written two books together about how to design your home for living with cats. So you are a true cat lady. You have it branded on your arm. I do. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we're at a, uh, a speed dating night here at the Cat Cafe. And I'm asking folks, well, what do you think, uh, why do you think a cat person makes a better mate than, say, a dog person or somebody without a pet? Ooh, well, definitely, I don't know, I would say somebody who has a pet, dog or cat, um, is, is just going to understand what it is to have to really love another creature like that. I mean, that's really unconditional love. Sure. So, I mean, you know, animal people to me are just definitely right up there. Right. Um, now, I am a little bit, um, 
more biased towards the cats. Personally, I feel like everyone who is a dog person is just going with the norm. They just like dogs because it's cool like dogs. Wow. For me, I think the cats is being super independent, but they're also loyal to a degree. And, you know, a cat's going to stick around if things are good. <laughs> okay. And you're saying that the uh, the guy the guy that has a cat would act the same way. I should hope so. <laughs> when it comes to a cat person, you know, like I feel it's more genuine. Sure. Because you know, cats, I feel like they get more crap than than dogs. Honestly, everyone loves dogs. I think for me, it's dogs are easy. You know, you walk up, you pat them, it's great. Cats require some more nuance. They require finesse. You know, you've got to work. You've got to work to get a cat to like you. Once they do, they're there forever. Okay. When it comes to cats, you know, they're they're not as dependent. They're they're not as friendly. I mean, of course, they're friendly kitties, but you know what I mean. Sure. Cat people, I think, are more sensitive. Hmm. And, like a guy that likes cats are just more a more gentle person, which I really like. Um, a lot of people prefer dogs over cats, and so when you meet someone who is more into cats over dogs, it just kind of shows that they're more open-minded, in my opinion. Kevin, what do you think, man? I tend to think, you know, what you say tends to be the same thing. I don't know. It's like dogs. They're awesome. I love dogs too. I like them both. I think they're all awesome. But sure. Cats are kind of special, and, and uh, I don't know. They just kind of bring out the best of people, and I do believe exactly what you said. Cat people, they tend to be, I don't know, a little bit more uh, caring, a little more compassionate. I do, I do. Yeah. Wow, I just left La Guitara, the cat cafe and wine bar uh, here in Tempe, and I gotta tell you guys, what an amazing place. Uh, I learned a couple of things. One, uh, dog people, brutes, barbarians, keep your distance, cat people, sensitive, uh, gentle lovers, and uh, apparently, guys, if you wanna meet a lady that knows how to take care of a young, helpless creature like you, you gotta get into these cat cafes, man. They're babe magnets.